Welcome to Coastal Foraging with Craig Evans. Something totally different this time. I'm on the island of the Kynthos in the Ionian Sea of Greece. It's a beautiful island and uh, I'm in a sand dune system um, on the beach uh, near Laganash and looking to uh, forage some herbs. I mean, if you look just uh, where we are now, this is all delicious wild thyme. Mm. The best I've ever tasted. Um, beautiful environment. There are things like rock samphire here, there's sea holly. Uh, Apologise for the uh, potential wind noise, but it's, uh, it's blowing a gale uh, just in there. This old pine tree appears to have been blown over um, quite a while ago. Still alive though. And uh, looking at the top, something you don't often see uh, from ground level is the, uh, the healthy pine cones growing. I'm on the crest of the dune system, looking out to the rough sea and looking down to see some uh, sea holly. Lots of it growing here. They have edible roots of course, uh, none of the ringos. Um, there's some uh, uh, the, the poisonous uh, sea spurge. It appears there's thyme growing everywhere and quite a few plants I don't recognise. Um, a few of these trees have blown down over the years and thyme is one of the commonest plants here. It looks as if they're um, growing in mounds whereby the windblown sand has covered them and they've uh, grown up through the sand to stabilise the dunes. Fantastic habitat. Again, don't know what this is. However, attractive looking plant. And it's got uh, nice purple flowers on that. I mean, the wildflowers on the island are uh, outstanding. Looking at this one now, it looks a little bit like our devil's bit scabious. That is obviously not, it's, uh, it's taller. Um, very nice. If you can see this now, I've just uh, found what looks like some caterpillars of whatever, some moth or butterfly, I don't know. You can see the eggs. There's obviously the, the bigger caterpillar and it's a uh, sibling down there. Don't know, don't know the name of the plant, but uh, it's obviously its food plant. You can see it, uh, you can see the youngsters there uh, eating away at uh, the plant itself. And that bigger one is uh, quite an attractive caterpillar. Let's see what happens to it. I did see a little lizard go in there. Let's see if we can see it. Can you see him in there? There he goes. Hey. come across these plants now. Uh, I've recognised them by uh, the seed heads. These uh, are actually sand leeks. Living here in the dunes, just behind uh, the turtle beach in in Laganas in Zante. I've uh, just pulled one up just to show you. They're uh, Very nice, I'll just taste them for you now. I'll just, uh, yeah. mm. Obviously, the onion family. Mm. Quite delicious, lovely and mild. And uh, I recognise it because, like, like other members of the onion family, they have little uh, bulblets which the flower turns into on the top. Quick shot of. Uh, Sea holly now, and a nice uh, patch of these purple flowers. Don't know what they are, and it looks like uh, we've got something that we get home as well. Um, hawkweed, I think it is, or a variety of it. Yeah, just pop 
pop you up to show you the sea. I probably can't hear this, but I'm just showing you this to uh, show you the effect of the wind blown sand that's come up the dune system now. And since the, the, the strong winds came this morning, just come across this uh, patch of vigorously glowing, glowing thyme now. And it's uh, the plant is uh, started a flower. So, uh, pretty plant. And in a short while, we're going to um, use these aromatic uh, tips and going to infuse them in local olive oil so we can take back and enjoy and uh, remind me of the nice time uh, I had you. Right, I hope it's out of the wind now. And I've just found this little, uh, this little grove in the dunes with uh, some nice flowers. Pines and the pine cones. Another little spot. It's quite warm. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to harvest some of this, some of the thyme, and uh, then we'll infuse it in the olive oil. And I'll show you that in a short while. So here's the uh, extra virgin olive oil uh, I bought yesterday on my trip to the mountains extra virgin and apparently it's uh, organic as well so I'll uh, open it up and we'll have a look so just to show you what I'm doing I'm uh, picking the tips of the thyme and then uh, putting as much as I can into the bottle to infuse it I'll take it home and leave it for maybe a couple of months to infuse and that'll be delicious with uh, particularly on grilled pork I believe I don't believe I know I <laughs> love it just to show you there it is the fruits of my labor that'll be uh, delicious but uh, it's a really intense flavored time very nice indeed that these uh, what I mentioned could be uh, or orchids earlier I think they may be the equivalent of the tooth wart we get back in uh, Southwest Wales, which are parasitic uh, plants that live uh, on, in the root system of uh, the host, and this sends up these flowers then to uh, uh, to breed. Doesn't do any good to the host plant itself, but it just takes its nutrients. But uh, all part of nature. Uh, nice place. We're coming across, and we can see some nice. It looks. Uh, I think it's some kind of broom or lupin or some kind of plant. It's a, you know, beautiful area. We come across again and walking back down, down towards the foreshore. There's a, I think these look like. No, I don't know what they are. They don't grow with us. Some kind of a thistle plant. This, the aroma here is an intense um, thyme smell, it's, uh, it's wonderful. We come down then to on the front and we can see the young rock samphire. And, uh, very, very pleasantly surprised at the, the natural environment here in uh, Laganas Beach. A clip of the Bay of Laganas now, coming down to uh, Ganesh town itself, around the on the coast, a bit of a cliff fall here, and uh, in in this cliff fall it appears to be lots of crystals and all different shapes and sizes. I'm not sure. I'll check it when I get back, but I think it looks like gypsum or calcium sulphate because it comes in sheets. And uh, there's a nice nice sample there. Right, out to the wind now. Going across the right hand side bay uh, from the harbour, going across to uh, a nice sheltered spot. This looks uh, a bit unspoiled with the nice cliffs and uh, some of the wildflowers this time of year, the yellows and the blues and the purples.
Yeah, sorry for my lack of posting recently, but I'm out in, in Zante with my father for a few day break. Just show you a little um, little clip of, uh, of where we are. And uh, nice weather, nice place. It's almost as good as Carmarthenshire and Pembrokeshire. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> The wind has picked up today, blowing uh, must be about I don't know 40 knots, quite strong. You can see the uh, you'll see it a bit rough this morning. Part, part of the course. Right, thank you for watching, and uh, I really enjoyed myself in uh, this beautiful island of uh, Zante of the Canthos in the Ionian Sea of, uh, of Greece. Uh, weather hasn't been the best, uh, but it's brightened up now. Um, we've seen, um, hope you get it on film now, uh, lizards, caterpillars, some thyme, various similar plants to what we find uh, back in the UK. Some nice, not so much foraging, but uh, pine cones. Um, so if you like it, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, and who knows, I might be doing some foraging courses over this way in future, once I've done some more research, because it really is a beautiful island with, uh, with lots to offer. So uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.